Hello everybody, my name is Pixie and today's video I'll show you how to make that character transition in Star Vegas Pro. So as always, before the video starts, make sure to drop a like and if you're new around here, make sure to also subscribe. Anyways guys, let's get straight into the video. So here I am in Vegas Pro and first of all I'm gonna show you the fixes. So what you wanna do is go to Vegas Pro, click on options over here, make sure quant size to frames is checked, go to preferences down below, click on video and make sure GPU acceleration or video processing is turned off, just like that. Click apply, click OK and then click on this cogwheel which is your project settings, make sure FPS is set to 60, make sure width and height is this and then go to ruler, make sure to copy these settings, this is really important. Once you copy that, go back to video, uh, name this whatever you want, click on this save template icon, click apply, click OK, restart Vegas Pro and now we can begin with the tutorial. So here we are in Vegas Pro and what I've done is I marked the two beats of the song and I've also synced up the first kill over here. So what I would like to also recommend is that your first beat and your second beat is something like from 50 to 90 frames spaced out. That is because we want the transition to fit. So make sure, you know, your first and second beat isn't like this. Make sure it's spaced out something like that. Anyways, here we have the first kill and with this you can do anything you want. You can do any kill effect you want, but I'm going to show you how to do the velocity so what you will do is go to the kill you would right click on it insert and move envelope click on velocity then you would go over here zoom in uh, right click add a point on the kill then go five frames backwards one two three four five add a point over here and then go ten frames backwards so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten add a point then this point in the middle make it to 50 and then the one on the kill uh, right click on it and then click on set to and set it to 450 boom just like that then go a frame forward so one and then add a point over here right click on that set that to 50 and then what you'll do is right click on this line so before the kill set that to slow fade and then the one after the kill so this line right click on that set it to fast fade and this is how you essentially do the pixie velocity just like that. Now we're gonna apply the impact, so you can find the impact in the description, but what you wanna do is split on the impact, boom, and then you can apply this pixie impact. Now I do want to mention that you need a new version of Sapphire plugins for this no impact to fully work, because if you don't have the new version, the RGB might look weird, so make sure you have the new version of Sapphire plugins. So what we're gonna do now is slow down the clip. So what we wanna do is go around like, five to ten frames forward so i say go like seven one two three four five six seven add a point and then go about uh, i'd say from five to ten points uh, forward again so one two three four five six seven and then right click add a point and set that to zero so what we want is no boom and then we want it to slow down just like that so here is the video and as you can see it slowed down and if you want it longer, you can of course uh, take this point, that is 50, you can drag it across over here, set it to 50, and then drag this point at 0, a little bit forward, set that to 0, so... So yeah, here is the frame I picked. As you can see, it's a bit scuffed, but we can of course work this. So uh, as you can see, this, this marker is 0, and after the point that says 0, go about 10 frames forward, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, split that clip, just like that and delete the other part so go at the end over here go a frame back so you can actually see what's inside of the frame and then you want to click on this save snapshot to file button click on that and then make sure to save this as a jpeg if you save it as a png it's going to be transparent so save it as a jpeg just like that and it will save in your downloads folder so don't worry about that and all you have to do right now is click on save so boom, what I've done is made a screenshot, you know, of the image over here. So we can drag that in and this is how it looks like. So what we're going to do now is create a new video check. So right click on this, insert new video check and then drag this image up. So what we want to do now is go over here. So this is, you know, where the image starts over here and then go 55 frames forward. So double click over here, backspace plus 55, just like that and make sure to mark it. And then you, you want to cut out the image just like that. So before we start with the transition, of course, we need a second clip. So I'm going to, you know, 
shorten this a bit and then i'm going to drag in another clip so here we have our other clip and what you want to do with this is sync it to another kill beat so like we remembered this is my second kill beat so i'm gonna sync the clip to that and boom as you can see it is synced so let's drag this to over here and see how that looks like and boom this frame is actually good as you can see we can mask that but if in your frame there is you know nothing is inside of the frame then you need to change the clip but my clip fits with this frame which is good so what you want to do with this frame is you now go go at the start over here and then click on the save snapshot to file boom uh, save as type to jpeg and then click on save and here we have our second image so we can place that over here and maybe cut this out a bit so now we're gonna adjust the length of the image so go at the start over here and then go 20 frames forward so double click over here backspace plus 20 just like that and cut it over here then with this image you can drag it over here and make sure it ends you know over here now we're gonna mask out the first image so make sure to click on this click on parent crop enable masking down below over here and then make sure the marker is you know on the first frame over here and then you can take this tool to zoom in and take the pen tool and now start masking and here we have our mask done so we can change the feather type to both and set this to something like 0 0.5 and now if you want to mask out you know the inside of the skin you can do that by masking it and once you're done masking it you're gonna set it to negative and that's how you mask the inside of the skin so now we can do the same thing but just for the second image so we'll go to the second image go to pen and crop enable masking and go on the first frame zoom in and take the pen tool and start masking out the skin and here we have the mask done let's set the feather tab to both and feather percentage to 0 0.5 now the next step we're gonna do is actually content to wear out the background now if you do not have photoshop you do not have to do this but if you have photoshop and you can do content to wear this is how it will look like so as you can see on the left you know it's a normal skin with the background and on the right is the content to wear image so we're gonna basically make the skin disappear out of the background and i think it looks you know way better when there is no skin in the actual background but if you do not have photoshop then you can skip this step and skip to this timestamp Anyways, once you are in Photoshop, what you want to do is go over here, click on open and make sure to go to our downloads folder and take the images, you know, that you took. So I took image five and six. So I'm going to click on five first. And this is the fifth image as you can see. So what we're going to do is make sure to click on this. So make sure there's no lock. Then we're going to click on the third tool over here lasso tool and then we're gonna go around the skin so i advise you just go around the skin you don't make it you know too big so be as precise as you can well boom here we have the mask done just like that then we're gonna go to edit then go to content aware fill and as you can see this will actually make the skin disappear so you can change a few settings but at the moment it looks fine so i'm gonna click on apply and okay and here we have that so what you can do then of course is go to file click on save as and then save to your computer then change this file type to a jpeg just like that and change the image to you know whatever you want so i'm gonna name this image content aware video we'll click save and then baseline standard large file quality 12 okay and we're done for the first image and boom here we are back in vegas pro so here we have the content aware images and don't worry if you do not have the content aware images you can just use the images that you took before so let's see for example image 5 so instead of using you know the content aware you can just use this image but anyways what you want to do is take one of your images so this is the first one you want to take the first one point it over here and then go to the start over here and then go 25 frames forward so double click over here backspace plus 25 and then shorten it to this range so make sure this is 25 frames long just like that and then of course you can get the second part of the skin and you know fit it in over here so this is how it should look like as you can see simple as that and now we're gonna apply the presets so we have a few presets so of course we have the background and skin presets so let's start with the skin presets we have skin a so you can apply the skin a preset to you know this one on the left which is the first one and then skin b on the second one which is this one just like that now we have the backgrounds so you know background a goes to the left one which is the first one 
and then background B goes to the second one, which is this one. So we have all the presets applied. What you can do now is highlight over, you know, the transition and click Shift B to pre-render and see how it looks like. So that's how it looks like. And if you want to remove the laggy effect, then what you can do is go to any of these. So let's say you want to remove the laggy effect uh, from the background. You want to go to the background and remove posterized time. So the higher you go, the laggier the background is going to be. So you can just disable it and the background will be smooth. But I feel like you should keep it laggy because you no, know, the laggy feel actually, you know, makes it look natural and makes it look better. So if you do not want the laggy feel, just disable posterize time but i'm gonna keep posterize time for now anyways the final thing you want to do is render this whole thing out so if, if you think this looks fine you can you know leave the video you're done but what you can do now is go to the start of the transition which is over here and then go 65 frames forward so double click over here backspace plus 65 boom and then click on m to mark it so we're gonna render from here so go on the top we're gonna render from here and highlight it all the way to here just like that once that is highlighted go to file click on render as and then you want to you know select your template so this is my template make sure to copy the settings and make sure your width and height matches your project width and height or else you know the whole transition will glitch so make sure width and height matches your project width and height 60 fps name this whatever you want and then click on render and when the render is finished you can drag in your file just like that and then remove these files because we don't need them anymore so make sure to cut over here and then drag this onto here so now we can apply the final preset which is after render so drag that onto the clip and boom that looks pretty nice and now we can move on to the sound effects so we have two basic sound effects so we have the fast whoosh and then we have the camera stutter so let's start with the camera shutter so what you want to do is drag this over here just like that and drag this onto the start of the transition so you know it's gonna be like a click sound on the transition start which is over here so we can place that over here and then at the end we can do the same thing copy the shutter and paste it over here just like that and with the whoosh you can put the whoosh in the middle so you know the transition is somewhere around here in the middle you can put the whoosh over here and that is it and boom here's the effect now this effect is actually really easy to do but you know in every video i try to explain it as much as i can so if you appreciate my doing and you appreciate my tutorials make sure to drop a like also follow my twitter for updates because i post a lot of sneak peeks and stuff that i don't upload on youtube so you know make sure to follow my twitter but anyways this was pixie thank you so much for watching the video i'm out